Hey everybody, so the arcade event is finally back here in Tanky Online. I know it's been down for like weeks, but now it's finally back. I don't think it's 100% back at the time of recording, but it's definitely gonna be back by the time that the video goes up. Tanky did release a message saying, great news for treasure lovers. We have fixed all the bugs and made the website more stable. All the progress is saved and the event continues from the state where it paused. I'm actually really happy that the arcade event is back because there's so many good rewards, but you have to wait for like, so long to actually get them. Oh my gosh, back off, Taylor. Ooh, nice, Pulsar. I just got Pulsar on my twins. I'll definitely review it in a few days here, let you guys know how good it is. But yeah, back to the topic at hand. One of the rewards for the arcade mini game is that you can get 100 gold boxes. Now, I don't know if this is just for one spot in the entire map or if you can, you know, get it from multiple spots, but man, I need golds because you can no longer really get golds easily. It seems as if Tanky realized their mistake and they're trying to make gold boxes or at least dropping gold boxes more rare these days, which is nice. I definitely enjoy that idea because yeah, golds have been a bit lackluster for quite some time now. Dude, I'm whiffing. Wow, that was sad. That was sad. Because what has it been, like six months to a year since you've been able to actually get gold boxes from anything besides buying it from the shop? So it's definitely more coveted these days. Of course, gold boxes are never going to go back to the way they were unless they're increased by like 5,000 for normal golds and 20,000 for super golds. Because let's be honest, you can get two to 3,000 crystals every single game. So catching one gold box, it's like, wow, I get 1,000 extra crystals on top of the 5,000 I already got for my game. That's the biggest downside to gold boxes now is that you get crystals so much easier these days that they don't really matter all that much. Let's kill this nerd. Let's kill him. Oh, he's so low. Oh, I actually got him. Wow, that was a cool kill. It's also funny because like two of the teams for the arcade event don't know how to play it. So they just vote in random areas when they need to be going in cert towards certain areas. They just fail. I don't know exactly what teams it was, but two of the teams could have had two treasure chests by now, but they only have one because they didn't realize how the game worked. I think a lot of teams finally realize how the game works. You have to actually go near the treasure chests because your faction only moves one space at a time. You don't actually control multiple spaces. Oh, this guy doesn't even know how to turn his turret. Rest in peace. But hopefully now that the mini game or the arcade game is back, people will hopefully know how to play it a bit more. Dude. I feel like I'm getting the crit shot far more often on Pulsar right now. Because everyone, lo people love using Blaster. It's fun. It's definitely a fun drone to use. But man, it's annoying sometimes. Oh, kill him. Oh, let's back off. Oh, wait, never mind. Where are the, where are the enemies? Just shoot into the abyss. Shoot into the abyss. Oh my gosh, dude. Twins is cracked with this right now. The critical shot is happening so often. Why? I feel like it shouldn't be happening this often. It's happening very, very often. Dude, oh, look at that GT. I would have liked GT. Oh, wait, I didn't get GT because I got a Cedar GT instead. One of the best skins in the game by far. Yeah, I got a Cedar GT for my containers from the tanky funds. You guys will see my reaction in a later video, but gosh, why could I have like freaking Hornet or Viking GT? My favorite skins in the game. Like I'm still 50-50 on whether I like Viking Demonic more or Viking GT, because I don't know. I love them both. They're both super unique, so they both have their own like moments that I enjoy them more. Oh, come on, die. There we go. He's dead. Where'd that guy come from? Oh, of course he has Blaster. I forgot about that, dude. Let me know in the comments if you, or if you guys are a fan of the arcade event. I personally think it's really cool, but I don't know if they explained it well enough. Because, yeah, teams were kind of sucking with knowing what to do for a long time there. Okay, dude, this augment is amazing. What the heck? Why is the critical shot happening so freaking often? I feel like it's happening far more often than it should be. I mean, Twins Pulsar, I think a lot of people kind of saw the recipe. They, they knew it was going to be decent. Oh, why is there a shaft? Back off, my friend. Dude, look at that critical shot already. Dude, the critical shot happens so freaking often. Ooh, that paint's cool. I rarely see that paint. It looks really nice. I enjoy that. I feel like they're 100% going to nerf the Twins Pulsar, though. It's just the crit shot's happening too often. They may reduce it on Twins. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Oh, he's low. You're kidding. You're kidding. Of course he has Blaster as well. Everyone loves Blaster. Well, that's basically all I wanted to say for today's video. You guys enjoy the rest of your year. New Year's is coming up. You guys enjoy that. Oh, don't forget to use creator tag Taspins in the item shop if you're going to purchase anything. And take care. See ya.